In this video, we're going to take a look at how to design and implement an online text assignment. What online text is very useful for is in the situations where you just want your students to type in something directly into uh, Moodle. Uh, it's similar to advanced uploading a file, except for instead of the students uh, actually turning in a Word document, they can type their answers directly into Moodle. Um, some advantages of this are uh, the time it takes for the Word documents to upload as your grading has been eliminated. Uh, it'll open up like a website which means it'll open up a lot faster. Uh, disadvantages to it is obviously you couldn't have students submit an, uh, an entire paper through this because you, you wouldn't be able to look at formatting or anything like that. However, if let's say you have you were having them do a worksheet you could still or questions out of the end of the book uh, chapter something along those lines you could still have the students use this having the worksheet or book or what have you whatever it is you have them working on next to the computer with the Moodle open and them answering the questions directly into this feature for you as a teacher it's eliminated that paper it's eliminated, I forgot to put my name on the assignment, it's eliminated all those issues that go along with that and it's put it in one convenient place for you to quickly grade. Um, in the past I know for example um, I've had students look at primary sources and answer uh, AP parts questions which is kind of a format used for social studies um, and what I had them do was had the, the, the AP part sheet over on off to the side of the computer as well as a document and instead of having them write their answers on the paper, I had them type them directly into Moodle. For me, it was a lot uh, more convenient and quicker to grade since I was looking for a few key things as opposed to looking at an entire paper. So it, it is, does have an um, element of convenience there for you as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. It's very similar to advanced uploading of files. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'll go to uh, add an activity and I'll go to online text. Once I'm here, I'm going to name the assignment. Since I was giving that AP parts example, I'll go ahead and stay with that. I'll copy and paste. I'll give the assignment a point total, let's just say 20 points. You can set the due date however you want it to. Similar, same as before, uh, preventing late submissions, so on and so forth. Um, this was covered in the advanced uploading a file um, item. In this section here too, you can add a comment line uh, where students can comment in addition to, or you can comment in addition to, to what the students are, are answering there. So once I have that set as I want to, I'll just go ahead and click Save and Return to Course. I'll go ahead and turn editing off. There's my assignment. It looks just like the uh, advanced uploading of files from an icon standpoint. I'll go ahead and click on this. It's in teacher view, so no attempts have been made with this assignment. I'm going to go ahead and go to student view so you can see what the students will see. So if I'm a student, I'll click on this, and they'll see this. It says, Edit My Submission. So they'll have the, the worksheet or whatever it, it might be over here on the side of the computer at their desk. They'll click edit my submission and then it's as simple as one and then they'd answer whatever they might answer, two, so on and so forth. Another nice thing about this is if you do have uh, whatever assignment you're having them, them answer, if you have a digital copy of it, you can put it in the Moodle, have them open that up, copy and paste that directly into this section right here and then they can just answer it as is. So if I had the AP parts questions here, I could copy and paste those right here um, in, into this cell directly and then have them just answer it right there. However you want to use it, it, it doesn't matter, but that's, that's an option for you.
So I would go ahead and save my changes. They would be able to see this and now they've essentially, as soon as they click save changes, they've essentially turned the assignment in. Now I'm going to go back to teacher view and see if it'll allow me to view what I've done. I don't know that it will. Yeah, it's not going to let me see it. But again, as a teacher, from a teacher standpoint, and, and I will uh, we'll cover this in a future video on what this looks like. I'll have if I have 24 students in my first hour. Again, you can use group mode here as well, first hour, so on and so forth. You'll you'll select that, click on there. It'll give you uh, their answers. You'll open those up. You'll grade them as you want to, and then you open up SIS and just put the grades in SIS. So that is how to use advanced. Or I'm sorry, excuse me. That is how to use online text.